It's well sunny in my room, so I thought we could sit in the sun and go through my collection of 45s. So I've just got a handful of these. At the front here, we've got Jane Birkin, the famous one, with Serge Gain... I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> I did A-level French, I should know how to pronounce his name. But we've got this one. I've got a Last Shadow Puppets. One side is Bad Habits and one side is The Born Identity. This was from their second album. Look, it's orange. <laughs> and it comes in a sleeve like this. Like that one. I've got a few Beatles ones. We've got I Want to Hold Your Hand and This Boy in the apple sleeve. Another Beatles one, Hey Jude and Revolution. This is a cool one. <laughs> yeah. Got Can't Buy Me Love and You Can't Do That. Then in this cool sleeve, this has Twist and Shout and A Taste of Honey on one side and then Do You Want to Know a Secret and There's a Place on the other side. So this is fun. In another apple sleeve we have George Harrison. My Sweet Lord on one side and um, what is life on the other. Very cool. Then we've got a random mix. Oh no, another George Harrison. <laughs> so we've got Give Me Love, which is, I think, one of my favorite George Harrison songs. And then Miss Odell is on the other side. Here we have What A Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. That's a good song. And then on the other side is Cabaret. Then I've got this one by Edith Piaf. I'm not going to pronounce it. But yes, again, I did A-level French. You would never know. <laughs> but yeah, and then it's got these songs. And then this is a cool one. It's Band-Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? I don't know if I had to pick a favourite one. I mean, this one is cool in terms of like cultural value, as is this one. It's quite nice to have a Christmas record. I know I said in the other video, I have that Tchaikovsky record that I play at Christmas and one side is the Nutcracker, one side is Swan Lake. And that to me is very Christmassy, but it's nice to have one that is actually a Christmas record, even if it is only a single. Where did the... This one I think is my favourite colour, like that. It's like tangerine, it's so cool. And also the lyrics on here, of this song particularly. I don't know why they didn't put this song on the album because it is so good. Like one of the lyrics is, I feel like the sequel you want to see but you were kind of hoping they would never make. Because the song is about doubting yourself. So yeah, I just thought that was a good lyric. Some of his lyrics can be quite strange. But I think this one is, this one is good, that particular song. If I were to pick my favorite Beatles one, it might be this one for the cover, because that's quite a cool sleeve. Um, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> but in terms of the songs, it would probably be between this one with Hey Jude on it, and this one with Can't Buy Me Love, and You Can't Do That. I think that one would be my favorite one, because I do love Can't Buy Me Love. And also You Can't Do That is a good song. So yes, be in this one. <laughs> so before I showed you, I keep all of my records down here. I keep all of my singles up here. They fit nicely on the shelf, <laughs> along with my <laughs> teddy bears and random hats. I know it's not a big collection, but um, I do like the Beatles ones. Um, I did used to have the record of 
with the Beatles. I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> it's good to have the singles that are the Beatles because I do love the Beatles. And yeah, good to have the last Shadow Puppets one as well, which is the newest one I've got. It's not a big collection, but for me it's a good mix and I really like them. So when you want to play a single, you need to make sure that you have the right speed and the right setting because now if you set this going, that is not the right speed. It needs to be faster. You can see that's just imperceptibly sped up a little bit. You see that? Maybe it'd be easier if I put something on it. So that is not the right speed. It needs to be this speed. Do you think there is something special about having tangible copies of the music that you love? So, particularly for me, the George Harrison ones and the Beatles ones are really meaningful and it just feels nice to have, especially because everything is digital now, right? You can stream any song, any version of any song, you can find old live versions or whatever on YouTube. It's all digital, so it is quite nice to have like a physical copy if you particularly like this song or this band. I find it really nice. And also to have the ritual of putting on a record or like leafing through being like, what do I fancy listening to? As opposed to just like going through Spotify, you know, your homepage, what were you last listening to? It feels like a more deliberate, personal thing. I do enjoy listening to these and having these. It's a valuable thing for me as someone who loves music. So if you are of a similar mind, I would recommend you start a collection of your own. And these I got, most of them in charity shops. It's not expensive. You can also buy, I know you can buy, if it's a newer band, for instance, like this one, you might not find this at a charity shop because it only came out like five years ago or whatever. But this, that's, to me, great. But someone didn't want it and they gave it to the charity shop and I bought it for, you know, a pound or whatever. Bargain. It doesn't have to be an expensive thing. It's great. So yeah, I hope you've... Oh, I'm not in the... Where's the sun? <laughs> I'm too much in the sun. <laughs> uh, I hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour of my record collection, Singles Edition. I will see you in the next one. <laughs>